Shalom. I'm just going to wait. I'm still adjusting everything. Um, so if you will bear with me for a few minutes to get everything adjusted, because it's been so long since I have been on YouTube. So, and I know it takes a long time for people to get notified. So what I'm going to do is just finish setting up everything and see who joins. And um, if you can let me know if you can hear me, that would be awesome. Let's see about this lighting. I might turn it off. Oh no, that's too dark, sorry. Huh. Shalom, hello. Oh, good morning, Beth. Oh, hallelujah. I pray you are well. My goodness. It's been so long. It has been so long. Oh my gosh. And please don't look at the hot mess behind me because I am not in my office. Um, I'm actually in my laundry room because my office is uh, out of commission at the moment. But praise Abba that I am able to do this because my Wi Fi is somewhat sketchy in and out. I'm also on a different computer than normal um, when I would do lives in the past. So today what I'm doing is I am on one computer with you all, but I'm going to be using my other computer um, to read from, but you know, other things. I'm trying this dual setup because I do plan on uh, doing regular live streams again per Abba's uh, leading. And that is what he has told me to do at this time. So, hallelujah. It is 1010 on the East Coast. Um, and this is going to be exciting. This is going to be, I was actually supposed to do this. Well, I don't want to say that. Abba's timing is always perfect. It's always so perfect. But he's the, the Ruach has been nudging me to do this for about a week since I have read this. And um, there's a couple of things I'll share. But praise Abba. Praise him that I am live right now. So, hallelujah. I pray that everyone who joins will be so blessed by this because I know that when I was reading it and the Ruach was just moving, I could feel it. And um, don't know about you all, but I have been in a little bit of a, a pit um, in my faith. It's just been kind of the enemy condemning me. Let's put it that way throwing things in my face from the past to, to try to cause me to not be or do Abba's will in my life right now. And that is what I've been going through. But I know a lot of you have, a, a lot of us have been going through things like this. It's all part of being refined and purified and where we are in this timeline, right? So anyway, um, I'm not going to just waste too much time here because I am on a time limit. I don't have uh, too long to be live because other commitments. So those that come back and watch the replay, um, I'll just let them fast forward and to about five minutes in. I'll, I'll put that in there. But um, so let's pray and then I will start this video. Abba Yah, we just thank you this day. I thank you so much for your goodness and your mercies that are new every day. Father, I pray. I pray over this video. I, I pray, Father, 
that the Ruach HaKodesh would lead and guide and teach us the words of this prophecy. I thank you that you have allowed me to be part of this. And I just pray that you would bless everyone, whether they're here now on the live stream or whether they watch later, that these words would just permeate their being and that they would receive such a blessing from it. I pray and just yield myself to you. I surrender to be a vessel used by you right now in Yahusha's name. And I give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. And I thank you, Father. In Yahusha's name, amen and amen. Okay. All right. So over the past few weeks, um, I had felt a nudge in my spirit to there's a certain brother that used to be on YouTube a lot a couple of years ago. And I had um, spoken with him through email various times. And I'm not sure. I believe I've talked about him before on my channel. But his name is um, Brother Donald Taylor. And he's older and full of wisdom. Um, but I haven't heard from him in quite some time. Like I haven't seen any activity on his channels. I haven't um, gotten any new emails, anything like that. Well, the father just started nudging me to go back and search for old emails that I had received from him. Um, probably in 2020, I believe. And so I went back, pulled up all these old emails, and it, he had sent me back then various emails and lots of prophecies. Oh, my goodness. It's probably about 20 different prophecies from various brothers and sisters who are who have already crossed over. You know, they are resting um, and not with us here any longer. And I don't, I can't remember offhand exactly who all of them were, but it's just a handful. It's a handful of people that received words from Abba concerning the time that we are in now, right now, and where we are going. And um, one of those brothers is Brother David Terrell. Um, and he was a seer prophet, um, 70s, 80s time time period. Um, like many, like Dimitri Dudeman, I'll just name him as an example. So um, I just felt this nudge in my spirit that Abba said, which he has called me a scribe. That was one of the assignments I was given um, way back in 2018. And um you know, I had sort of an idea what that meant for me because Abba uses all of us different. We all have different gifts, right? But for me, as there's also different types of scribes. So some scribes are strictly writers. Um, I don't know how to describe it. There's just different categories of scribes. One of them that I was called to was to be a record keeper, uh, to record the events that are coming. And as you know, well, I guess like you would say, like our scriptures, you know, that's a record, that's a, a historical record, right? And so that's what I have been assigned to. And the other one, he just like nudged my spirit and said, this is what you are to do now. And it is to go back and to read these prophecies because as a scribe, I am to study the prophecies, right? To study the prophecies, to read them. I believe it's the book of Sirach that says that. Um, maybe chapter 38, and it talks about the scribe and the scribe's assignments. Um, but that's what he told me. He said, I want you to pick up where... Um, Brother Donald Taylor, his ministry, 
I want you to pick up this part of his ministry and run with it. And that's pretty much what he said. I don't know exactly what that whole looks like, but I will tell you, he is a brother who received visions from Abba in the 80s. And he was one of the first ones to receive uh, prophecies about the uh, places of refuge that I've talked about many times and building places of refuge for Abba's people during the coming hard times. And he was given such, he wrote a manual. Um, I've downloaded it. I will probably share it on this channel. It's also going uh, to be on my blog, as many of you, in case you're new and you don't know who I am. Um, my name is Amalia Seiler, and otherwise known as the Salt and Light Gypsy. And I have a blog that's Salt and Light Gypsy at WordPress.com. And that blog has a lot of information on the things that I'm speaking of. So you can always go there and read through pretty much anything I'm going to talk about on this channel. Um, but I'm going to upload these prophecies to that blog. And I'm also going to share his manual for the place of refuge, because I am not called to like build his, the idea that the, I don't want to say idea, the revelation that the Ruach had given to him on the places of refuge was way over my head. I don't even mechanically, I, it involves energy. Um, amen. Um, there's so much detail to what he was shown and the information he was given from angels, from the Malachim and from Abba and the Ruach that I can't, I haven't been given the revelation of those things, but as far as the prophecies that he was told to collect and to put, to write out and to put into a manual or a book form that he held on to since the 80s, Abba has told me to take those prophecies and read them to you all and to put them on my blog and to have hard copies of them. I'm sorry about the light, you guys. Um, so anyway, all of that has just happened and it lit a fire in me because I have felt slightly dry, um, not really knowing, like I, like I knew what he's called me to do, but I've, it's, the enemy has been like a wave of condemnation. And so I have rebuked it. I know that it's not true. And I repented for things that I feel like I needed to address and repent of. And, and, you know, just that cleansing, that cleansing time. And um, with everything going on, and this particular prophecy is beautiful. It's not one of, I guess you could say, judgment and condom, you know, the, the end age judgment. It's not one of those prophecies. Although there are some of those within these prophecies that I will be reading on this channel going forward. So I basically just want to start so that I can get this because it is nine pages long. I ask you to be patient with me and to listen um, because it applies to those I believe to those who are in the Joel II army of the end of days. And we know that there are three different armies. Um, there's Gideon's, there's Joel, and forgive me, but I forgot the last one, but it's in the description link below because I just read it and I was like, wow, I'll put that in there. How awesome is Abba? So, um, so all of the prophecies that he recorded are dated um, this one in particular was not giving, given a title, which is why I just titled it Prophecy. Some of them do have titles, though. All right, let's see if my scroll button will work. All right, so the original message dated June 6, 1980. 
All right. Now it was given to brother Donald on April the 3rd, 2009. I just think this is so amazing. Um, so prophecy by brother David Terrell. Uh, he is a seer prophet. And I am going to use the correct names of Yahuwah, Yahusha, and the Ruach HaKodesh as I read this, because you'll understand. Um, for the word of Yahuwah would come unto this people. I would have this people to hearken to my voice, to hear my words, to know that my words cannot fall. For knowest thou this, know also that in the last days perilous times shall come when men shall be lovers of themselves, coveters, boasters, proud, blasphemers, and disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahuwah Elohim. Having the form of godliness, but denying the power of the Ruach Kakodesh. Therefore, as these days have come to pass upon this nation and upon this generation, I would have my people to awaken, to stir themselves, to know that Yahuwah Elohim is searching a people. And as my Ruach moved upon the face of the deep, even so, now my Ruach moves upon the face of the earth, searching out a people that is called by my name, that are not ashamed of my name or of my word, that shall go forth in the fullness of my Ruach. For the fullness of Yahuwah shall be revealed to the peoples of this day, and I would have my people to draw nigh unto me, that I may reveal myself to them. For it is written, as they were in one place and in one accord, and suddenly there came a sound from the Shamaim as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all of the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues, likened unto fire, and it set upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Ruach Kakodesh, and began to speak with other languages as the Ruach gave them utterance. Once again, I am going to move in a like manner, saith Yahuwah. Thy eyes have not beheld the move of the Ruach HaKodesh that I am going to give unto those that will hunger and thirst and seek diligently with all their hearts for the depths of my Ruach. For many are satisfied with being lukewarm, the normal church members. But I would say unto this people and have them to know in this day, ye shall not be able to survive by being normal church members. Ye have a choice of life. You have a choice of blessings and you have a choice of the fullness of the Ruach of Elohim. Therefore come and hunger, come and thirst, Come and draw of me waters from wells of salvation that you will flow like rivers of living waters. For the Ruach of Elohim shall flow in the hearts of those that will hunger and those that will thirst. So separate your lives from the things of the world. Purify your double minds and your carnal minds. Come out from among the world and be separated. Handle not, touch not, and taste not that which is unclean for all that is in the world is the filth of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. So I have written it in my word, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, but if you will come out from among the world and be separated, then the love of Yahuwah shall be shed abroad in your hearts by the Ruach Kakodesh, and ye shall be filled with my Ruach, and nothing shall separate you from the love of Yahuwah. For the works of the flesh are manifested through those that reject the truth, through those that are carnal, through those that love the world, and the fullness of the transgressors is coming forth. And already the church world and the religious world 
had come to the place that they don't care anymore. Already my people have lost their standard. For I have spoken through my prophets and to my prophets to lift up a standard to my people, to show my people their transgressions and their sins. I have written it in my word that the righteousness exalt, I'm sorry, I have written it in my word that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So awaken to righteousness and sin not, because the knowledge of Elohim is not complete. Men have walked in darkness. They have walked in the shadows of death and in gross darkness has come upon the face of the people. So it is high time for my people to lift up holy hands and enter into their sanctuaries and into their ecclesia and in the house of Elohim and in holy praise and magnify Yahuwah, seeking and tarrying until they are endowed with power from on high. For as Yahusha led them out as far as Bethany and blessed them, and they returned to Jerusalem with great joy and entered into the temple, praising and blessing and magnifying Yahuwah. And as a cloud deceived him out of their sight. Oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. And as a cloud received him out of their sight, and two men stood by them in white apparel and said, Why do you men of Galilee stand gazing into the Shamayim? For this same Yahusha shall so come in like manner. And they entered into the upper room, and they continually praised and magnified Shalom, Brian. Um, praised and magnified Yahuwah as they magnified Yahusha HaMashiach. And suddenly the sound from the Shamayim came upon them as their minds were in unity. Always the move of the Ruach HaKodesh comes through the unity of Imunah, faith, through hunger and through thirst. But I have seen a generation of churches of this day that are lukewarm, that are forms of godliness. I have seen the church world that it has turned to promotion and that they have denied the power of the Ruach Kakodesh. But in the midst of this time of trouble, when there are sights and signs and distress of nations and perplexities and insurrections, when a time of trouble and when a snare has come upon the world, and man has been caught in a snare because he has and overloaded his life. His heart has been overloaded with the cares of this life, and now he cannot survive. Therefore, I would have my people to return to the house of Elohim, as Joel has spoken of the gloominess and the thick cloudiness that will be upon the face of the earth, and the meat offering which is my flesh and my blood, which is the word made flesh and those that will become a doer of the word. Therefore, the meat offering has been cut off from the houses of Elohim throughout the world and my people perish. But in these days, when the fig tree has not yielded her fruit and the pomegranate and the apple tree and the palm trees all of my fruit trees, and the vine has not yielded her strength. Knowest thou that the day has come that if you will come and lie all night in your houses of Elohim, Yahuwah, and if you pastors and evangelists will pray and call ye upon the nations, though they be few in number, dozens or scores or hundreds, if you will stir them and pray, and pray with them and lie all night, you ministers, and travail and cry out for Elohim to spare his people and allow not the heathen to come and rule over them. Then you shall hear from the Shamaim once again, and I will send you the early and the former rain, and I shall send you the latter rains. 
and I shall send you the fullness of the reins of the Ruach HaKodesh to every man's church, that they shall gather his people together in holy unity, in one place, in one mind, tarrying until they are endowed with power. I will gather them together in my house as my house once again becomes a house of prayer. And as you enter into the house of Elohim and shall wait, it shall be so as they waited. They were endowed and came out of the upper room. And as the world and those that were gathered from all nations witnessed a strange thing, as they said, these are drunk. But knowest thou, as they heard them speak with other languages, knowing they were all Galileans, they were amazed and some mocked, while others said, this is the wonder of Yahuwah. And it pricked in their hearts, saying, what must we do that we might be saved to inherit the kingdom of the Ruach Kakodesh in you? And as Peter stood up with boldness to preach and said, these are not drunk, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Yoel, Joel. For it shall come to pass in the last days, saith Yahuwah, that I shall pour out of my ruach upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men dreams upon my servants and upon my handmaids in these days and in this year in these early 1980s will I pour out of my ruach if you will gather back to my house if you will fill my house with prayer and with praise and if you ministers will return unto me and re-consecrate and restore your dedication. And if the dedications of my people will be restored, and if you will restore your faith in your heart back to Elohim, Yahuwah, and believe that Yahusha HaMashiach is your all and all, and through him and by him, all things exist. Therefore, it shall come to pass in these days that my Ruach shall dwell within you in fullness and nothing shall by any means harm you or hurt you. And ye shall be people of victory, a people that shall come forth with power over Hashatan. And behold, ye shall receive power after the Ruach Kakodesh has come upon you. For this is a move of the Ruach Kakodesh. And it is going to be a power move. This is a move of my Ruach that is going to bring about the works of our Adonai and Mashiach. Ye shall know that the works of Yahusha shall be wrought. For, Yah for as Yahusha witnessed to the Sadducees and the Pharisees that criticized him and spoke evil of him, as he said, If I do not the works of my father, Believe me not, but if I do the works of my father, believe me for the work's sake. Therefore, it is the father that dwelleth in me, and he doeth the works. And once again, ye shall know my people by these signs that shall follow them that believe and receive the fullness of Yahuwah. And once again, ye shall know my ministers and my works. For if they do not the works of my father, which are the works that were worked through me, saith Adonai, Yahusha, then they are not of me. For verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my father, that whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do that the Father will be glorified in the Son. So if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. And if you love me, you will keep my commandments, and my commandments are not grievous or hard. And I will pray to the Father, and he will send you another comforter, which is the Ruach Kakodesh. And when the Spirit of truth is come, 
Ye shall know that the Father is in me, and I in you, and thy in us. And when the truth is revealed in the fullness of the fullness that dwelled in Yahushua HaMashiach, the fullness of Elohim bodily that dwelled in Yahushua, the head of all power, the fullness of the Ruach, for he received not the Ruach by measure, but the unlimited Ruach of Elohim was revealed through Yahushua. The unlimited Ruach of Elohim shall be revealed through the people of this last move of the Ruach HaKodesh. For you are the temples of Yahuwah Elohim. And Elohim shall move unlimited, for ye have been a limited people. You have been a people that have only been moved so far. Ye have only seen so much. You have only witnessed just a small touch of my Ruach and a small portion of my manifestation of my works. But in these last days, I shall pour out my Ruach upon all flesh. And as the fullness of Yoel's, Joel's prophecies shall come to pass, it shall be so, saith Yahuwah, and that ye shall see the fullness of Elohim manifested once again in the flesh. For without controversy, great was the mystery of Elohim, for Elohim was manifested in the flesh and bones of Yahusha HaMashiach. For the word was made flesh and manifested through Yahusha. And in these last days, Yahusha HaMashiach was your example. And as Yahuwah was in Yahusha, reconciling the world, even so he was he has given unto this last people of this last hour that shall come forth with the fullness of the Ruach Kakodesh, he shall give them the ministry of reconciliation. And whosoever sins, you remit, and they shall be remitted. But whosoever sins, you shall retain, and they shall be retained. For as I breathed upon you, and you receive the Ruach Kakodesh, it shall come to pass that the immersion of the Ruach Kakodesh and fire shall come forth upon this generation, and your eyes shall behold the fullness of Adonai, and ye shall behold my works, see my wonders, and witness my marvels. For I shall bring forth the gifts of the Ruach Kakodesh, the sights and the signs and the wonders and the miracles and the gifts of the Ruach HaKodesh shall be given unto the people of this last call. For a quick work shall be wrought and a mighty sign shall be given. And as I bear witness once again with signs and wonders and gifts of the Ruach HaKodesh, making my Malachim, my angels, my ministering spirits, my ministers flames of fire, for I am Elohim Yahuwah, I am a consuming fire. And as Moshe beheld the burning bush, and as the fiery experience of the burning bush through the bush was not consumed, once again shall I come forth in my fiery experience of the Ruach Kakodesh, and you shall witness and you shall see that this is the last call to a dying world that I shall send forth. And this gospel shall be preached in all the world as a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. And I shall send forth the gospel to all the four corners of the earth. And I shall gather the heathen and they shall come and witness my power. And they shall witness the power that is manifested through you. And you shall see and behold my wonders and my sights and my signs and gifts of the Ruach HaKodesh. And as you believe and receive, these signs shall follow you and you shall lay hands on the sick and cast out devils. <sighs> Praise you, Abba. And you shall speak with new tongues. Goodness, thank you, Abba. I praise you. 
and the world shall behold that I have raised up a generation I'm trying to get it together a generation of people that shall follow in the footsteps of Yahusha and into the fullness of Yahuwah and to the knowledge of the son of Yahuwah that you shall bring forth the works of the ministry and no longer will my people be tossed to and fro. This is so important. I pray that you hear this. This is me talking. Okay, I'm going to read that whole sentence again. All right. And ye shall see and behold my wonders and my sights, and my signs and gifts of the Ruach Kakodesh. And as you believe and receive, that's what you have to do, believe and receive, the signs shall follow you, that you shall lay hands on the sick and cast out devils and speak with new tongues. And the world shall behold that I have raised up a generation of people that shall follow in the footsteps of Yahushua HaMashiach into the fullness of Elohim Yahuwah and the knowledge of the son of Yahuwah. And you shall bring forth the works of the ministry and no longer will my people be tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine, with the cunning and craftiness of men and by all of the evil that is being spoken one of another shall not trouble the minds of my people in this last move. For it shall be a power move and the Ruach Kakodesh shall lead this people. And as many as are led by the Ruach of Elohim, they shall become sons of Yahuwah. And you shall know that you are an heir of Yahuwah and a joint heir of Yahusha HaMashiach. Conformed to the image of Yahusha, predestined, ordained, chosen, and called for this purpose. For all things work out for the good to them that are called and chosen for this purpose. So therefore, as many as should be saved shall be saved, saith Yahuwah. And Adonai shall raise up this people, and he shall sanctify his ecclesia, and bring it forth in the oneness and the echad of Elohim, Yahuwah, as the Father was sanctified in the Son and made one. Even so, I shall be sanctified in you, and you shall be one with us. Therefore, my people, open up your eyes of understanding. Wipe back the scales of doubt and unbelief. Sanctify your hearts by the truth, for my word is truth and be made one, a cod with us. Be healed in soul in mind and in body and it shall come to pass in these last days that you are going to see a move that has been spoken of. And by many of my prophets, by many of my apostles and even men of this century that have passed on, have spoken of this last day move, and you shall ask what you will. The dead shall be raised, and ecclesia shall be established upon the face of the earth without spot, without blemish, or wrinkle, or any such thing. And this ecclesia shall be a glorious ecclesia. What greater glory could you be upon the earth than to be a living testimony of Yahusha HaMashiach, the, I'm sorry, the Father being glorified in the Son. And what, I'm sorry, I read that twice. What greater testimony could you be than being living stones, witnesses of me, both in your home and in the uttermost parts of the earth? Therefore, Adonai would call his people to reconciliation. He would call them back to the altars to lie and to wait and to tarry until they be endowed with power from on high. But if you reject this call, if you reject this last visitation that I gather you into the heavenly places to wait for me. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. If you reject this visitation, 
I will gather you into the heavenly places to wait for me, then it shall be so, saith Yahuwah, that you shall be taken away as branches that are unfruitful. You are not bearing fruit, and every branch that beareth no fruit shall be taken away, and every branch that beareth fruit shall be purged to bring more fruit forth. For without me you can do nothing, for without the Father I can do nothing. But through the fullness of the Father that dwells in me, all of the works and the signs that were wrought by my word and by my hands were done because the Father dwelled in me. So shall it be as the Son dwelleth in me, for this is the day that you shall dwell in me. You that love his brother and abide in the doctrine of Yahusha HaMashiach, dwell in the Father and in the Son. And he that received the Son received the Father also. For the Father dwells in the Son. And whatsoever the Father, Father does, the Son does. For the Son can do nothing of himself. And whatsoever he see the Father do, so do doeth the Son. So once again, through the revelation and the outpouring of the Ruach HaKodesh, whatsoever the Son does, you shall do. With the Son, you shall do nothing but whatsoever the Son will do. You shall do because my Ruach revealed. Yahusha in you, the hope of glory. For Yahusha shall be revealed. For I have chosen people that I shall unveil myself and you shall go forth as chosen generation, a royal people, a people with a kingly anointing. For you shall be made kings and priests in my kingdom and the kingdoms of this world shall become the kingdoms of our Adonai and of his anointings. And you shall go forth through the uttermost parts of the earth and the heathen shall be your inheritance. And in the highways and the hedges, I shall gather, I shall gather the blind, the lame, the maimed, the bad, the good, and my house shall be filled once more. And if the pastors and the evangelists and the handmaids will wait and come and tarry, and after I've poured out my ruach and moved and visited my church, my ecclesia, and thy house of Elohim, thy places of worship, if you shall continue to seek me and continue to praise me and continue to tarry. And when Zion travails and the sons and the daughters are born into the kingdom, ye shall see the greatest soul saving move of Elohim that the world has beheld. Therefore, this is the greatest move that the Shamaim have ever moved. For the windows of the Shamaim shall be opened up and I shall pour out of my blessings upon a people. And this people shall be a blessed people, a holy nation within a nation. And your eyes shall behold the wonders of the word, the scriptures. For you shall behold that the word of Elohim is truth, that Yahusha HaMashiach is the same yesterday, today and forever. And you shall know that I am and that I change not. Therefore, believe thou this. Press into the kingdom. Possess the kingdom. Take it by force. Seek until you find. Knock until it is open. Ask until I give you. And if ye will continue to weary me as the widow wearied the unjust judge until he forgave her of her adversary, how much more if you will continue to weary me, if you will continue day and night crying unto me, though I bear long with you, I will come quickly and I will avenge and I will answer you and I will bring forth my words of life and I will give you the light of life and ye shall walk therein and ye can follow your trend and your forms of religion. You are going to become like churches did when 
Azusa Street. You are going to become like the synagogues where I went in the tabernacle in the wilderness. And then he quotes Yukonon 13, 14, 15, and 16. If I then, your Adonai and master, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. For verily I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his master, neither is he that is sent greater than he that sent him. For I dwelt in Solomon's temple. I dwelt in the synagogues until Yahusha came forth and was revealed as Elohim in the flesh. But then the glory lifted because they rejected and my kingdom was taken from them and given to the Gentiles that brought forth the fruits. And therefore they were cut off because of their rejections. Because of your rejections, you shall be cut off because of the hardness of your hearts and the surmising of your minds and your lasciviousness. Because you have not bridled your tongues, you have gone about from house to house causing envy and strife and bitterness and division to arise from my ecclesia. For it is not only one church, one ecclesia, but many ecclesia that have been in division because my people have disobeyed the apostles doctrine and have not brought themselves under subjection. And the women have not humbled themselves and washed the saints feet and become obedient and the men have not been subject unto Yahusha HaMashiach. For Luke 7 and 38 says, And stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with, tear, with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. And Yochanan 13, 5 says, After that, he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Therefore, their church, their ecclesia has been out of the glory. They have been wishy-washy. But now in these last days, as I pour out my ruach upon my handmaids and upon my servants and upon the sons and the daughters and the young men and the old, and I shall bring them back to my place as my people, singing songs of Zion, lifting up the name of Yahusha as the name of Yahusha is lifted up to the world and as the light of the world. For behold, I shall gather in from the Gentiles and from the heathen a people for my name's sake. I need a sip of drink. I'm so sorry. And I shall gather from out of this nation, from out of the highways and the hedges and the small towns and the villages and the cities. They shall all be shocked and rocked and moved as Jerusalem was in such an uproar. So shall many cities be in an uproar because of my glory being revealed. Because I have sent forth the apostolic ministry and the works of Yahusha. I have raised up a people and sent them forth together into the harvest, preparing the grounds, making ready the harvest. And the hearts of my people that shall humble themselves shall be made a partaker. But those that harden their heart and stiffen their necks shall be suddenly cut off and destroyed and without remedy. Therefore, lift up holy hands and begin to confess faith, imunah, think positive get rid of your negative thoughts become sound in your mind become sober-minded filled with the fullness of yahusha by doing so you shall come forth to worship me again as they gather together in the upper room so shall you gather together in your houses elohim and i will visit you for this shall be noised abroad throughout the nation, throughout the world. For another move of the Ruach Kakodesh, likened unto the book of Acts, shall be noised abroad and throughout the world. But this time you shall be witnesses 
witnesses of me and Yahusha HaMashiach shall be the center of attention. He shall be the testimony. His name shall be exalted. His word shall be explored. His strength shall be revealed. Even Yahusha in you, the hope of glory. For your eyes have not seen, nor your ears have heard, neither has it entered into your heart what I am about to reveal through the outpouring of this last day fulfillment of Joel's word that I spoke through Joel, that my Ruach would be poured out. So humble yourselves, pray, seek my face, seek me in the morning and into the daybreak. For as Yahusha went out and prayed until daylight, as he prayed until his sweat became great drops of blood, as he cried out, not my will, but thine be done. Once again, my people must submit themselves and cry for the will of Elohim to be done. Oh, my people, my people, you are not praying for your own fleshly will. You are not striving to get in the straight gate, but you are trying to live for Elohim with double minds, with carnal minds. You are to live for Elohim and to live for the world. You are trying to be social and yet have the immersion of the Ruach HaKodesh and fire. You are trying to love the world and love Elohim too. You are trying to have your places of worship, your formalities, your religions, teachings, your doctrines, your peoples, instead of pressing into the truth and praying until Yahusha is revealed. And in the knowledge of Adonai, it shall go forth in the earth and Elohim shall choose a people and some that would not believe. For I will raise up nobodies and make them great speakers and teachers and anointed servants and handmaids. Your eyes haven't seen those that I am preparing. Come to me that you be made a partaker of my glory for Elohim has spoken. Hear you, hear me now. For Adonai's word shall not return void. For it is sent out through the earth, and the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached into all the world. Then and only then shall the end come. For blessed are those that give bountifully, cheerfully. For if you will bountifully sow and bountifully give, it shall come to pass, saith Yahuwah, that your eyes shall behold the riches of my blessing. For I am going to prosper this move of the Ruach Kakodesh like no other move of my Ruach has been blessed. For this is a quick work that I am going to make on the earth. For after this army passes through the land and through the nations, there will be nothing left. For every stone shall be turned, every tongue, every nationality shall be reached. Every village, every nation shall hear the gospel and Yahusha shall gather together his people by sending forth his Malachim at the sound of the last trump. And immediately after the tribulations of these troublesome days and this gospel has gone to the ends of the earth, then I shall send my Malachim to gather those that have called on my name to be saved. So hear my voice. Send the gospel to thine own and to those that are abroad. For if you will give, it shall be given unto you good measures, pressed down and running over. You will have bread to spare. You will have extra for all of your needs to be supplied, pressed down, running over, shaken together, because I will cause men to give unto your bosoms. Ye shall be the ecclesia of my delight. You shall be a people of my glory. You shall be the people that shall be called blessed upon the land. And I shall rebuke the devourer that has destroyed all that you had. For Hashatan has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I come that you might have the immersion of the Ruach Kakodesh and fire, an abundant life, and the life of Yahusha, and the abundance of life. And if you will receive and hearken unto my word, I will rebuke the devourer that has destroyed all that you have had. And ye shall see my power and ye shall see my glory and ye shall be a holy church, a holy people. 
and the devourer will be rebuked and your sicknesses will be taken away. And ye shall serve Elohim in holiness and Kodeshah and righteousness before me for the rest of the days of your life. And I will give your I will give you your wives. I will save your children. I will bring your husbands unto me and sanctify them. I will save your sons and your daughters. I will reach out into your families and I shall humble them and bring them into my house and they shall be filled with my glory and your eyes shall behold that Elohim has done it all through the last day outpouring of his Ruach HaKodesh that has drawn once again from out of the highways and the hedges where Hashatan has driven your children and taken your families and taken your relatives. I have reached out there and by my Ruach, I have drawn them to Yahusha for no man can come to Yahusha except the father draws him and the Ruach of Elohim, which is Elohim shall draw them. Therefore, hear Yahuwah and give that ye may be blessed and prosperous people in health and in the great depths of spirituality and your barns shall be filled with plenty and your wine press shall not hold your new wine. The liberal soul shall be made fat and ye shall know the gift of riches. Give and it shall be given. See and witness, for this is the word that is going to cause the life to return unto my people. And many shall begin to prophesy and to speak my words. And the sons and the daughters and the handmaids and the servants and the young men shall begin to see visions. And you shall not question it, for it shall agree with my word. For the Ruach Kakodesh that shall speak shall agree with my word. For the Ruach and the word agree. And the visions and the word agree. And the dreams of the old men and the word will agree. And it shall be revealed in these days. For this is the last call. A quick and a mighty work is to be wrought. And I shall perceive to work a marvelous work and a wonder. And I shall cut this work short in righteousness. And the blind eyes, not only the blind that can't see the light of day or the night, but the blind with spiritual blindness shall also be opened. And the lame and the lame church shall leap like the lame that is crippled. So shall the lame believers leap. Ye shall serve Yahuwah, and I shall bless your bread and your water, and I shall take sickness from the midst of you, and you shall know the true blessings of Yahuwah, and you shall be blessed and not cursed upon the face of the earth in these days of trouble, in these days of tribulation, in these days of hardships. For I shall send forth this gospel and there shall be ministers that shall go into many parts of the world. And there are those that shall go to the uttermost parts of the earth. Therefore, as you send this gospel and as you support this truth, you shall be blessed people and no weapon formed against it. This kingdom or this move of the Ruach Kakodesh shall prosper and no tongue shall speak evil of this way. For it shall stand for the tongue that speaks evil of this way shall be condemned. And the eyes of Yahuwah are upon this ecclesia of Yahusha HaMashiach, which is the body of all true believers that have laid down their doctrines of men and taken up their stake of Yahusha and taken the attributes of Yahusha and put on Yahusha HaMashiach and have denied the flesh and forsaken all to follow me. For he that forsaketh not all that he hath cannot be a disciple. And these are the disciples that shall go with me, even in my suffering, even some to death. Some shall be persecuted and tried, while others shall be transported from one nation to another and shall become like Philip and like Elisha. For great shall be this move. But if you hold back your substance, rob God of your, I'm sorry, rob Elohim of your possessions, 
curse the ecclesia and blaspheme this truth and draw back from pressing into this kingdom, ye shall become confused in mind, have strong delusions, and the mystery of iniquity and the man of sin shall take hold of you, and the spirit of iniquity shall enter into you, and ye shall become sons and daughters of the devils, and ye shall go forth in your strong delusions and in your seducing spirits shall for even as the fullness of the Ruach Kakodesh is revealed, also the fullness of Hashatan shall also be revealed, and the transgressors will come forth in the fullness of Hashatan, and the kingdoms of this world shall become the kingdom of our Adonai Yahusha, and there shall be kingdom against kingdom. But greater is the kingdom of Yahuwah Elohim than the kingdom of the world. Greater is the Ruach Kakodesh that is in you than he that is in the wicked. And ye shall stand and withstand in evil day, because you have taken on the whole armor of Yahuwah. Therefore, open up your hearts, and as freely as ye have received, freely give, Prove me, prove me now. Break the yokes off your necks that have bound you financially, spiritually. Break the yoke and take the burden that has burdened you down and prove me that you may be under the barakah, the blessings of this last move. For the wars and the commotions and the sights of the end are at the door. For Yahusha is coming soon. And I, but I have promised years. I just want to make a side note. This next part is talking about the early 1980s when he was prophesying this. But I have promised years before in these early 1980s that I would spread the gospel into many nations, kindreds, and tongues. For if my people will hear my voice, America shall be visited. This shall be a year that it shall be a good year for those that will hear me, but it shall be a hard year for those that disobey me by the, for the way of the transgressor and the way of the disobedient soul is hard. But they that obey, that obey me shall eat the good of the land for the willing and the obedient shall eat the good of the land for the way of the transgressor shall be made hard now. And those that rebel against my truth and draw back for many shall be suddenly destroyed while seducing Ruachot spirits shall overtake them. And those that have and give not even that what they have shall be taken from them. But those that give even I shall double and a hundredfold shall be the reward at this time. Therefore, my people hear my word, bless and send it forth. For they that bless and receive this word receive me that has spoken it. For it is not the voice of a man. For this is my word. For thus saith Yahuwah Elohim to this people. End. Amen. And Amen. Wow. So that was... Very powerful prophecy from Brother David Terrell in June 1980. And it is for us today, right now. For us. I'm sorry, I'm just catching up on comments real quick. Um, yes, I, I will share this prophecy on my blog. Um, as I've said at the beginning, for those that join later, um, this is a call that Abba has put on me right now, is to study the prophecies of only, there's many prophecies, but only these prophecies of brother, um, that brother Donald Taylor shared with me in emails years ago. Um, there's about 20 different prophecies, all addressing um, different different things during this time we are living in now. So um, 
let me pull up this email and I can give you a little bit of that. Um, just so I can give you some of the titles. If it'll work. Oh okay. What's going on here? in the wrong email, I'm sorry. Bear with me, I just wanna pull these up because Abba has very strictly commanded me to read these prophecies. Like Abba, at the point he delivered the unto brother David Terrell, think about it, calling out to his people or to the church of their day, calling them to repent calling them to lay down the doctrines of men, right? He was calling them unto himself. But as we can see, as we know today, that did not happen, right? They ignored this warning. They did not obey. And so now judgment is at the door, right? If all of those churches, if you look around every town that has I don't know, pretty much know that every town across America has churches on every corner, right? Buildings. Um, they're empty. They've been broken up. They've been destroyed. Abba allowed it. That was his judgment going forth. Um, so, you know, we know that part has happened. But I believe that all the other is for us right now. Um, bear with me so I can pull up this one real quick. Um, so I'm not sure if I am to go forth and read one every day or how Abba, I just know that it's been a little over a week now that I was supposed to read that one. But Abba's timing is perfect and, uh, and good and he is faithful. And I do believe that I saved all of them on my computer, but that's why I'm double checking right now while you guys are on here with me. So I can just kind of give you a count. Um, I truly believe that in this hour though, it is extremely important that we lay down our perceptions and our ideas and our thoughts of what we think is supposed to happen or what is to come or what even is right now. Because we are living in a time of great deception on every on every turn, everywhere. There is deception, right? Everywhere. And of course I can't find it right now. Um, so I do think it's important to do that. But I do want to point out one thing. I want to go back and touch on this one point real fast because I broke down. And the reason... I felt the Ruach Kakudesh all over me as I was reading it. It was very powerful and very humbling. And the part that um, that I want to touch on is where it is a ministry of reconciliation. It is that we are to reconcile right? Not just with brothers and sisters, but with family, with our haters, with people that hate us, right? That is, that is what we are to do in these end of days. It is exuding the love, the ahava, the love of Yahusha to everyone. And yes, I know not everyone is human. I'm not going to get into that right now, but for the most part, it is exuding that love, right? And as we see, as we go deeper, right? Because we know we're going into hard times, clearly. 
the word says so. We know that. It's not going to be. The world's going into hard times. I'll leave it at that. But, but his people who are called by his name for a plan and a purpose according to his will, if they will humble themselves and obey right now and every day, choosing to be the light, choosing positive, to speak positively, not choosing negative. And I'm talking to myself primarily right now too. But if we wake up and we do that every single day, even though all this around us is crumbling, is falling, and we get pushed out of our homes, we get pushed into uncomfortable situations, right? We get pushed this way or that way. We will remain on a solid rock if we continue to be the light and to exude Abba's love, Yahusha's love, to be the hands and feet of Messiah in the midst of calamity, right? We are going to see people because people are ugly most of the time. People are mean by nature. I mean, you can see it in little kids when they're, you know, when they're in school, when little kids are together, what do they do? They're mean to each other, right? So as these things as this world begins to crumble around us, people are going to, and this goes for believers too, people are going to get greedy. They're going to hold on to what food they've stored up. They're going to hold on to what clothes they've stored up when it gets cold, right? That's the test. That's the test. Will you open your hand and freely give as you freely received and not just the word, but of everything, everything. That's our test. And that's what this says, is that we are to love. It's that love that will manifest Yahusha in us, the Ruach HaKodesh, right? And so that's why this word is so powerful. And I'm just going to read this off of my chalkboard in front of me, because this is exactly what I'm talking about. But I forget who wrote this, but I had put it in my book which, I don't know, it's somewhere around here. My book that I keep saying I'm rewriting, and I am. But um, it says that we are to feed the hungry in the midst of calamity, to give drink to those who thirst, even when wormwood poisons the water. We are to clothe the naked who survive the elements. Think of how hot it has been. It's only going to get worse. But we are to clothe them. We are to heal the sick from diseases and pestilences, right? We are to continue, oops, sorry guys, to continue to pray fervently, to intercede for the lost, for the widow, for the homeless, for the children, for the elderly. We are to fast for them and to be like, to be humble, to be a meek people, right? And so I just felt that was so relevant to our time and what we are going into right now, that we cannot let us not keep our hands closed. Like when it comes down to the wire of we only have this much food left or we only have this much of our physical needs being met right now. Abba's going to test us. He's going to test us and be like, Freely will you give? Will you take care of this one? When the neighbor that you hate that lives down the road that like does really wicked stuff to you comes knocking on your door in the midst of calamity, will you love and, and witness, right? These are going to be, this is what we we're called to do. This is who we are as a chosen generation. And that is how Yahusha will be manifested in us, right? Shalom, Michael. Shalom, Brian. Shalom, Beth. Shalom, Wesley. I can only see a few people, but I'm so thankful that you you all spent this last hour with me. I haven't been on here in such a long time. And yes, um, I was disobedient to Abba as far as getting on and doing what he has told me to do. But like I said at the beginning, he has called me to study these prophecies, to read, to share them. And to just let the Ruach move as I read um, right now. 
that is that is what I have been told to do. So I pray that it was such a bearer call to you. And just one other thing is we are being called back to simplicity. I am struggling. Pray for me. I am praying for you all. Um, because we hear a lot about come out of her, my people. And it is so, it is everything. It's not one or two things. Coming out of her is everything. We are going to be stripped down to nothing. Because that is how we become a purified people. And, you know, I don't know how to explain this. Because I have this vision in my head. But it's as, you know, as the wickedness Man, the as the wickedness and the evil comes to maturity, which it must, we, Abba's people, will be going the opposite direction. So technology will this way, and the the like they're putting fake food into the markets and and pigs mixed with mice. I don't know if you all saw that. You know the fulfilling of Yeshayahu sixty six, um, but we are literally going to be eating what Abba provides, like Abba's food and letting go more and more and more and more to where we are stripped and relying totally on him, right? And every day I ask, how am I to fight? How am I to fight convenience today? How am I to fight coercion today? How am I to fight comfort today because it really is about becoming uncomfortable. We have become lazy and fat. It's the truth. And that's why like I think about scriptures and the mighty warriors in the scriptures and the bravery of those souls. We have not seen things like that. I mean, I'm sure some people have been put in situations where they've had to experience, you know, possibly fighting for their life, you know, by weapons or whatever, right? And I'm just, I'm just talking about the, the times that they, people have lived through that have really challenged their very life. So I just want to leave you with those thoughts. Choose every day to fight comfort, to fight, fight convenience and to fight coercion and do not comply. Do not comply to what is going on. Do not do it. And um, I, I bless you. And yeah, I think that's it for today. So um, love you and I bless you. Have a beautiful day and y'all willing, I'll see you on the next video. Hey, honey.